Choosing the right software as a 3D artist can be sometimes difficult. If you are a pro, then surely you've been through the toughest phase of your career, and so there isn't too much to know at this point. Besides, working in a company makes things easy because they mostly provide everything you need. All you have to do is to get the job done perfectly. But it's a different ball game altogether. If you are a freelancer or maybe a complete beginner, you have to watch a lot of videos and read a lot on which software is perfect whilst you think of how much you have in your pocket. You might end up using a crappy software because you can't afford the good ones. If you are looking to upgrade from a low-end texturing tool or still a newbie searching for the best bang for your back texture software, then this might be the right video for you. In this video, I'll be talking about Quixel Mixer, its strength and weakness, and pair it with some of the best free and paid texture softwares around so you know what you're going in for. One of the best advice I can share with any 3D artist is to focus on the art. That's very simple, but you can't just sit home and focus on the art. What kind of art would you be focusing on if you aren't working with your hands? So then, software comes in mind. Now, I bet if you jump on Google to search for the best texturing softwares right now, you'll be presented with many texture software options, right? Some of them you might have heard of or even used trial versions of, and some of them you have never heard of them before. Let's take an industry standard like Substance Painter, not free and not too expensive based on how much you make at the end of the month as a texture artist. But if you are a newbie or a freelancer, then sure, it might seem very expensive. Both Quixel Mixer and Substance Painter can help you achieve whatever that you want to achieve. But then Quixel Mixer begins to fall short when it comes to speed workflow. Look, if you are a professional artist with tons of assets to texture and the deadline is close, Paying to use Substance Painter would be of great benefit. But when it comes to texturing in itself, I would say both softwares are awesome. They can pretty much produce the same outcome. Then we move on to smart materials. Both softwares have material libraries as part of its build, but the difference is how the materials are created. For Substance Painter, your materials can be generated procedurally inside another software called Substance 3D Designer. Substance Painter also has material library by name Substance 3D Assets where you can purchase materials, 3D assets and HDRIS. But Quixel Mixer does it completely different. Quixel Mixer's materials are based on scanned data. This technique they got going on in there makes you achieve highly realistic materials as compared to what Substance gives you. Now, some of the few reasons one will choose Substance Painter over Quixel Mixer is how quick easy and the procedural workflow Substance Painter offers as compared to switching from software to software when working with Quixel Mixer. One thing to also keep in mind is that Substance Painter is an industry standard which means if you have hopes of working in companies with high expertise then Substance Painter should be the way to go but if you only want something to start with as a beginner then Quixel Mixer would come in handy since it's completely free as well. Let's not forget we are searching, right? So now you came across Substance Painter, we paired it with Quixel Mixer. So whilst you continue searching, you come across another texturing kit by name 3D Code. A solid option here as it delivers everything a texture artist would need, at the same time offering sculpting as its main selling feature. The good part is 3D Code is a one-time purchase. At this point, I would say texturing in 3D Code stands in between Mari and Substance Painter when it comes to price and features. Then you continue scrolling, right? You come across Blender, a complete free 3D suit with a powerful but not friendly texturing toolkit. The good part is Blender offers a lot of great texturing add-ons and my favorite pick amongst all those add-ons will be B Painter. Not free, cost around 15 USD and it's a one-time purchase, very cheap. The bad side is Blender's texture add-ons are so many that you might not even get a better tutorial to practice with. Also, you have to download too many of them and try them to see which one will suit your style. It's just too much at this point, so you decide, let me put Blender aside and continue searching. You come across a new guy by name Amo Paint, great piece of texturing kit, 
you get it on Windows, Android, iOS, and the dark. Linux, sorry, Linux. This great piece of software has a problem. And the problem is, as of now, the software is still in its development stages, which makes it an experimental software. Also, I've read on a lot of platforms where dudes are complaining about the software crashing frequently, with others also complaining of OBJ import issues. That's something I'm yet to experience because it's been very steady ever since I started using it. Armor Paint costs 17 USD. Also, I've provided a GitHub link in my description below where you can compile the codes for yourself and use Armor Paint for free. I've also provided a link in my description which will teach you how to compile those codes in case you have no idea what I'm even talking about code compilation. Now, as we can see from here, the number of paid downloads isn't that much. And also, we can't be sure of how many people are using the free version. So let's just say there's going to be a little bit of uh, struggle with help and also tutorials on the internet if you opt in to use this software. The future looks bright for Armor Paint, only if the developers can focus on making it better because Armor Paint, from the kind of experience I've had with it so far, is would be a serious competitor to Substance Painter in times to come. You also get free options like Quixel Mixer, which I'll be breaking down in a bit. Another great piece of software which focuses on delivering real-life textures from scanned materials. Also, as an amateur, you'll find everything there is to complete a texturing project in this software, but then you realize the software has two major problems, which is baking and rendering. Hmm. So then Quixel Mixer needs support. The best compliment that comes to mind is Mamoset to bag. In a professional pipeline, Mamoset is only used for baking and rendering because its texture sets are very basic. So now at this moment, we can't purchase Mamoset and forget about Quixel Mixer completely because each of them has one thing that the other doesn't have. Do you see what's happening here? Quixel Mixer's texture sets are top notch, but the software can't bake and has a poor rendering um, engine. Then you get Mamoset, which can bake and render, but can texture on a more professional level. Hmm. Mamoset offers both a perpetual license and a subscription license. So you can go in for which one you want, complement it with Quixel, and you would have a powerful texturing kit at your disposal, as opposed to Substance, which is great, but offers only a subscription-based license. So now I believe you are beginning to see the need for why we need to explain these kinds of softwares, both free and paid ones, because a software like Substance Painter will suck your pocket dry if you are a newbie or someone who doesn't texture for cash on a regular basis. I hope you get the turbulence we just went through with all those softwares. That's something you have to be ready for as a newbie. And before I start talking about Quixel Mixer, I would like to say I'm very proud of the number of emails I get in a day from a lot of newbies with different problems. Keep them coming because I love it. The release of Quixel Mixer comes with over 600 smart materials and mega scan assets that are free of charge and for commercial use, regardless of um, the license type. On top of that, Unreal Engine users get access to the entire mega scan library for free, with supported asset types available right within Mixer. Everything you need as a texture artist in order to start creating stunning mixes is available in Quixel Mixer. One thing I can speak confidently about is how easy it is to use Quixel Mixer. Its user interface has everything you will need labeled decently and very clear to the understanding of an absolute beginner. Now, as someone who's worked with some great texturing softwares and also some wacky free combos, I would say Quixel Mixer got me hooked. I'm hoping to use Quixel Mixer on a longer term, complementing it with Mamoset and see what happens. Quixel Mixer shares a lot of functionality with Substance Painter and any experienced artist shouldn't have any issue producing same results in either softwares. Despite the fact that it's been developed at a healthy pace and is built upon a solid foundation, Mixer in simple terms isn't a fully functioning texturing product yet. 
it lacks several critical features any artist would expect from a 3D software. Like I said before, Mixer loses out of the competition because it can't bake at all. I know it wouldn't be a problem to a lot of people, but the truth is, this particular feature is very significant in the texturing world. If you are someone who sculpts or models in Blender, baking mesh maps wouldn't be new to you. If you've watched Mixer's official tutorial series, you realize they used Mammoset's toolbar to create the bakes, and that's because Mixer can't bake. Let's not forget we are talking about some of the best free texturing suits out there. So if we are to factor in Mammoset tool bag, then it means we are out of the free zone because though Mammoset's baking tools are really robust, its price tag is similar to that of Substance Painter. Now what this means is completing a texturing project without paying a dime in Quixel Mixer is quite impossible, right? Though it's free. Mixer is also missing more easily developed features such as working with multiple UV maps and UDIMs and much to my dismay, it didn't even have an option for painting in symmetry. But these problems I'm hoping wouldn't exist for long looking at how fast and awesome Quixel has improved over the years. I know these missing features will be developed and attached to its um, latest update very soon. Based on the current stats I've picked on Quixel Mixer, I would recommend Quixel Mixer to beginners and pros who want to generate realistic looking texture materials for their models. For sure, anybody who's used Quixel Mixer would attest to the fact that it produces real life materials better than any other texturing software you would ever come across because of its scanning ability. There is no cost and you get 90% of the functionality handed to you in a super comprehensible way. I'm hoping Quixel Mixer steps up their game just so they could bring some level of competition into the texturing game. If that happens, maybe Substance would have to rethink on how they distribute their license. I'm just hoping that happens. If you love this video then a sub to my channel will be awesome.